Hello guys, welcome back again to my channel. So for today is isi-share ko sa inyo kung paano tayo mag-register sa EBIR form so for annual registration. So yung start of filing is January 1 until January 31. So if ever na nadelay kayo is meron silang penalty na 1,000 pesos. So dapat kasi yung babayaran natin is 500 pesos so magiging 1500 and if ever na delay ng more than 1 month or ilang days pa yung next time after 1 month is CBIR si na bahala magcompute ng ating mga penalty so make sure na hindi tayo maabutan ng uh, cut off and mas better na ahead of time is nakapag fill up na tayo and okay na yung ating mga uh, requirements like this one. So, dito tayo ngayon sa www.bir.gov.ph So, first, sa mga wala pang EBIR form, so, visit niyo yung site na to and i-click niyo yung home and ito yung lalabas. So, meron tayong EBIR forms. So, uh, to download offline EBIR forms package V7.9.4.1. So, sa pag-download nito, make sure nyo din yung computer nyo is meron siyang partition like local disk D and C. So, I prefer to choose local disk D if ever meron ka mga problems like sa computer mo, is hindi mawawala yung EBIR forms. So, pag after nyo na download to, is punta na tayo ngayon sa offline niya. So, eto ngayon yung profile natin. And meron tayong ditong tax uh, payer identification number and RDO code. So, eto is pag meron na kayong um, information dito sa EBIR form. So, automatic na pag ilagay nyo yung TIN nyo is lalabas na yung mga information nyo. So, ngayon is yung um, gagawin nyo sa mga baguhan is yung TIN nyo ilagay nyo dito. Next is yung RDO code nyo. And line of business is makikita ito sa CUR nyo. And of course, yung last name, first name, and middle name. And yung registered address natin. So, dapat um, nakabase din to sa CUR. And yung zip code natin is, for example lang to, and yung telephone number natin. And i-make sure nyo din yung email address natin is active kasi doon sila magsasend ng confirmation if okay yung pag-submit mo ng form. So, first thing is, yung gagawin natin is kukuha tayo ng 0605. So, meron tayong list of BIR forms dito. So, ito yung i-click natin. Okay, so i-click natin yung fill up. Okay, wait. Yan. So, loading na siya, guys. Kasi sample lang yung TN. Hindi talaga yung TIN ko. So, for education purposes lang. So, naglagay lang ako ng... Um, example. So, first thing is meron tayo dito number 1. I-click natin yung calendar. And then, after nito is merong lalabas na December 12, 2024. So, eto yun, guys. And uh, next is meron tayong uh, year ended like December 2024. Uh, okay na to siya kasi nakakalendar na. And meron tayong uh, number 3, like quarter, first, second, third, and fourth. Uh, skip natin to. And next is yung due date. Uh, yung due date is uh, January 31. So, lagay natin. And 2024. Okay. So, yung number 5 is skip din natin. Yung ATC is... Um, Hanapin nyo yung MC180. So, ito yung registration for a VAT or non-VAT taxpayer. So, click natin. Okay. Wait lang. Saan na yun? Okay. Click natin to. And then, uh, okay. So, i-check natin. So, MC180. 
after number 6 is proceed tayo for number 7. So, meron tayong return period. So, ang ilalagay natin is 12.31. Okay, 31.2024. So, ito hanggang ano siya, uh, last day of the year. So, ito yung return period natin. So, December 31, 2024. After nito is meron tayong number 8 which is yung tax type. So, i-click natin and then um, hanapin natin yung RF. Okay. So, yung registration fee. I-click nyo tong bilog <laughs> and then click OK. So, eto na guys. Meron tayong RF and Number 9, automatic na meron na tayong um, tax payer identification number and then yung RDO code. So, automatic na siya. And yung number 11 is um, tax payer classification. So, yung letter I is individual and yung letter N is non-individual. So, click natin yung individual. And then, line of business or occupation is online teacher. So, makikita yan sa COR nyo, i-check nyo. Pero, if ever meron ka ng record, um, automatic meron na dito. Next is yung name natin. Automatic na din yung Chu Alex Ong. And yung ating uh, telephone number. And yung registered address. Zip code. Okay na din. And proceed tayo sa number 17. Okay, so yung others. Uh, specify. So, ilagay natin as annual registration. So, make sure caps lock. Annual registration. Okay. So, after nyan is full payment. Click full payment. And meron tayong number 19 dito. So, click natin as 500 kasi uh, ahead of time naman tayo nag-fill up, right? So, January 4 pa lang ngayon. So, 31 pa yung uh, due date niya or deadline. So, 500 pa lang. Pero pag more than 31 nga, January 31, so, magiging 1,500. Diba sayang yung 1,000 natin? So, yan guys. Uh, okay na to. So, basic lang. Ito lang yung i-fill up natin. Check nyo lang yung date. Kasi 2024 ngayon. Check nyo. So, yun lang din. And, i-validate natin. So, ito. So, if ever hindi nyo pa gusto i-submit, pwede din naman i-save muna natin. Okay? So, pwede din natin siya ma-print. Okay? So, like ganito. So, like print. And, pwede din natin siya ma uh, save. So, meron din tayong uh, nakalagay dito, submit final copy. So, i-click nyo lang din yung submit final copy. Okay. So, eto na. Okay na din. Okay. Wait natin. So, mahina daw yung internet natin. <laughs> so, ganito talaga yun. I refresh nyo lang din. Tapos, i-save natin. Okay. After nito is kapag okay na, lalabas yung mga, um, uh, yung link ng pagbayad, yung mga electronic, like Gcash, Paymaya, and mga banks. So, babayaran natin yung 500 pesos. Okay. So, ito na, submit successfully. Click OK. And you can uh, pay electronically through the following channels. So, i-click natin tong uh, BIRGOV.PH. Okay. Okay. Yung mga EP natin nandito. Okay. New share para makita nyo. Okay. So, eto guys. Yung EP natin. So, may land bank. Okay. Okay. So, my land bank, PisoNet, Globe Gcash, Paymaya, DBP, uh, Union, and Pay Using. Ito, pwede mo din to siya mag-click agad. Uh, dito nagbayad yung kaibigan ko. So, yan. May mga instruction din naman. Pero kung meron kang Paymaya, 
Matanda din sa Paymaya kasi madali lang siya. So, ito yung video. And then, uh, pag gusto nyo, um, i-guide ko kayo paano magbayad sa Paymaya is gagawa ko ng next video para sa mga Paymaya user. Kasi sa Gcash, um, hindi pa available yung BIR. Pero if ever na itry nyo reinstall yung Gcash nyo, baka lalabas yung BIR sa uh, pagbayad ng bills. Kasi dito sa Paymaya, automatic na nakikita agad yung Um, BIR na pagbayad sa government. So, yun guys. Um, I hope na makapag-submit na din kayo. And after nito is meron ding email sila. Is send sa uh, email mo. Make sure na yung email mo is active kasi doon sila magsasend ng confirmation like after 5 minutes or 10 minutes ng pag-submit mo is mag-e-email sila. So, and after nito is magbabayad ka na of course and make sure na may screenshot ka and i-print mo na din yung 0605 mo if ever hanapin ng BIRS, meron tayong proof na on time tayo nagsasubmit sa EBIR form. So, yun lang guys for today's video. So, for the next vlog, is gagawa tayo for another video about BIR. So, kung meron kayong mga tanong, um, just comment down below. And meron tayong mga video and playlist about sa BIR, especially sa mga freelancers, online teachers, sa mga content creator, and sa mga ibang taxpayer na nalilito sa EBIR forms and of course sa Oros and sa BIR na requirements. So just visit my YouTube channel. So that's it for today. Have a great day and see you again for the next vlog. Thank you so much. Goodbye.